Here's a pretty cool way to that I use the gunny sacks for like sled dragon almost. You can do a lot of different things with it, but I'll just show you one of the examples just now. It's absolutely pissing rain outside in Scotland, so I'm not going out. I'll just kind of try and show you in here. But essentially on grass or like carpet or gym flooring you can use this easy. So I've got a large gunny sack here loaded with 58 kilograms of sand in it, which is like a nice weight for dragon. And I've got a resistance band, literally just looped around the handle. Because of this material, the band sticks really well to it. So it's a quite a thick green band. I'm going to put it down there. Now a few different things you can do. You can just do rows with it, one handed. I like to put my hand in there, loop it around. And then I can literally just drag it. I can do that fairly slow. Or I can do it like quite explosive, ballistic. Obviously, if you've got more room, it works better. I'm kind of in my flat just now, so again, I can do it back the way. Another cool way to do it is to pull with the right, grab the left, and push through. side pretty effective this just gives you a different stimulus and if you're outside you could obviously do just standard backwards walking And you could jump in and do around the waist. I don't know how well this is going to translate on camera with the space I've got. When you're on grass, especially, don't do it on concrete, obviously, material and concrete. This is like extra strong material, but material in rough concrete does not mix. So, let's see what we can do. Oh, Yeah, you get the idea. 